Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa expressed his welcome to all participants in the Manama Dialogue 2016, which is held in Bahrain and organised by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in cooperation with the International Institute for Strategic Studies, that's IISS. His Majesty the King expressed hope that the forum will contribute effectively to strengthening the pillars of regional and global security, peace and stability. His Majesty King Hamid extended deep thanks to Dr. John Chipman, Sir John Jenkins and other IISS officials for their continuous efforts to organise the Manama Dialogue, hailing the success in bringing together high-profile participants to discuss pressing regional issues. His Majesty the King added that the Middle East and the world is facing security challenges and dangers that can only be encountered through international constructive and active cooperation. His Majesty the King added that the Middle East and the world is facing security challenges and dangers that can only be encountered through international constructive and active cooperation. He added that we in the Kingdom of Bahrain strongly believe that the Manama Dialogue is vitally important and will contribute in specifically preserving peace in the region and promote an international understanding in general. His Majesty King Hamid wished the participants every success and expressed hope to meet them in Bahrain again in the near future. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa attended today's Ironman Championship, which began this morning with the participation of over 1,200 competitors, including world champions and participants from the Kingdom and the Gulf Cooperation Council countries. Upon arrival at Bahrain International Circuit, His Majesty was received by His Highness, the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty honoured the first place winner, Terenzo Bozon, of the Bahrain Endurance 13 team. The winner ranked in second place, Stephen Jost, and the winner of the third place, Sam Appleton. He congratulated the winners and athletes in the championship, wishing them further success. His Highness Sheikh Nasser briefed His Majesty on the stages of the championship and its participants from international athletes with a global reputation to outstanding amateur athletes. His Majesty exchanged talks with the participating athletes who expressed thanks and appreciation to Bahrain for organising the event and for providing all the facilities required for its success. His Majesty congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa on the success of the championship, which reflects the high status of the kingdom and its ability to organise such grand events which attract world-class athletes. King Hamad hailed their highnesses for their efforts in diversifying sports and encouraging Bahraini youth to participate in them through creating programmes that develop various sports in the kingdom. His Majesty received the members of the Bahrain Endurance 13 team in the presence of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, praising the efforts of their highnesses Sheikh Nasser and Sheikh Khalid for creating this team that represents Bahrain globally and promotes it through their achievements in various world championships, expressing pride in their achievements and wishing them success. King Hamad stated that this sports event attracted a large audience and reflected the fair competition between the world athletes, noting that such events enhance cooperation between the athletes and the youth of various countries across the globe. His Majesty then watched parts of the championship's competitions and His Highness Sheikh Khalid's participation in them.
Upon receiving a delegation from the British Parliament, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, affirmed the need for a crystal clear and closer vision between the East and the West in order to find an appropriate method and put in place procedures for enhancing security and stability in the region and across the globe. His Royal Highness added that this comes through a dialogue that tackles various issues and challenges ranging from the political to the economic and security fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister added that the world should know that the governments and the peoples of the region are seeking peace and reject divisions that are based on sects and faiths, including the total rejection of sectarianism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed pleasure in the assurances provided by the Britain's Prime Minister towards both Bahrain and the GCC's security, including conformance of the military interests of both sides. His Royal Highness welcomed the support of the Bahrain British Strategic Direction as well as the GCC-wide British Direction, adding that such vision and moves towards the region are important and welcome. This came whilst His Royal Highness the Prime Minister received today at Rafah Palace a delegation from the United Kingdom's Parliament who are on a visit to Bahrain to participate in the Manama Dialogue. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister welcomed the British delegation which reflects the deep and strong historic relations linking the two friendly countries that goes back over 200 years. Relations that are based on mutual respect, understanding and the meeting of the common interests of both sides. His Royal Highness lauded the historic visits of the UK Premier to the Kingdom, her participation in the GCC summit and the positive results yielded due to the visit on joint GCC-British cooperation. His Royal Highness asserted the keen desire of the Kingdom of Bahrain to further bolster cooperation between the two friendly countries for the mutual interests of the two nations. He voiced an aspiration to see an increase in the exchange of visits between relevant parties of the two sides, which he said will contribute in further consolidating friendship and understanding in various issues. On the regional and international developments, His Royal Highness affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain shares the international community's keen desire for peace and stability to prevail in the various parts of the world. This in addition to Bahrain's support for efforts aimed at seeing human beings living in peace and stability so that more focus is targeted towards building and development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at his palace today Singapore's Defence Minister, Dr Ning Eng Hen, who is currently on a visit to the Kingdom to take part in the Manama Dialogue Forum. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister discussed the distinguished relations between the two countries and ways of developing them in various fields. He stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to develop its relations with Asian countries, including Singapore, which is similar to Bahrain in the geographic and economic nature that would benefit the development process of bilateral cooperation in various areas. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the importance of strengthening cooperation and coordination in the field of security that will preserve international stability. He also noted that Singapore is a role model in terms of development and economic renaissance in the Asian continent, stressing the importance of sharing experiences possessed by the two countries to establish a solid model for fruitful bilateral cooperation, as well as exchanging visits between senior officials in order to develop the cooperation mechanisms of the two countries. The Singaporean Defence Minister praised the development and prosperity witnessed by the Kingdom of Bahrain due to the wise vision of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister. He also expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier for his interest to support all that contributes to the development process between the two countries. He also affirmed the keenness of his country to find new ways of bilateral cooperation that achieves the aspirations of both nations.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, today welcomed senior delegates from the global foreign policy and defence community to Bahrain's 12th Manama Dialogue Security Conference. In partnership with the International Institute for Strategic Studies, that's the IISS, Bahrain has hosted the region's premier security conference for over a decade. The event provides a unique setting for leaders from across the globe to gather and discuss approaches to regional security challenges. The Crown Prince said that this year's Manama Dialogue takes place at a crucial juncture as a number of critical issues are challenging stability in the Middle East and impacting global security. The Crown Prince highlighted that since the leaders last met at the Manama Dialogue, the world has witnessed a significant number of hateful terror attacks across the globe. The Crown Prince stressed that the Manama Dialogue provides the ideal setting for officials and leading thinkers to discuss, debate and agree new approaches to confront and eliminate terrorism at its roots. On this note, the Crown Prince underscored the need for the global community to better recognise the threat posed by the rise of extremist ideologies today and that it must strive to better understand them in order to form the appropriate political, economic and military responses. Regarding the Kingdom's response to regional and international security threats, the Crown Prince said that Bahrain continues to play a strong and active role alongside its GCC and international partners to counter terrorism. This includes participating from the outset in the International Coalition's campaign against Daesh and providing strategic and logistical support to the ongoing Saudi-led coalition pursuing the return of stability to Yemen. The Crown Prince concluded by underlining the Kingdom's firm commitment to advancing multilateral engagement and private diplomacy in resolving conflict and expressed his confidence that the serious discussions over the next two days can work to achieve this. The UK Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson delivered the Manama Dialogue's key note address in which he hailed the strong 200-year relationship between Bahrain and the United Kingdom whilst emphasising the need to build on existing political, military and economic ties to tackle complex security challenges. The Foreign Secretary affirmed that any crisis in the Arabian Gulf is one for Britain and underscored the UK's unwavering commitment to the region's stability and as parts of the international coalition to defeat Daesh. The Foreign Secretary concluded by stressing that the United Kingdom remains committed to the Gulf's continued development and prosperity and will continue to work closely with all GCC partners, including Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, to ensure the region fulfills its long-term ambitions and aspirations. A number of senior Bahraini officials also attended the opening event of the 12th Manama Dialogue. The IISS dialogue discussions are concentrating on several regional issues, specifically the challenges facing the Middle East and its stability. More details now in this report from Sarah al -Burek. The International Institute for Strategic Studies has started its first of three days of the annual Manama Dialogue. It provides a platform for national security establishments and government delegations from all over the world to exchange views on regional security challenges. This year it will gather the highest level of policymakers including defense ministers, foreign ministers, national security advisors and military and intelligence chiefs. Minister of Defense, Mrs. Ursula von der Leyen, uh, is attending the Manama Dialogue again for the second year now, second consecutive year. So we have a very high level representation and uh, she's also going to be speaking on uh, the third panel which is about fighting extremism. And uh, yes, of course, we're all in this together, you know, we're all involved in the fight against terrorism, extremism, and Germany is making a contribution um, primarily by supporting the Kurdish Peshmerga who are fighting Daesh directly. We're providing training and uh, weapons to them. And of course we're also supporting the uh, Allied troops in Syria uh, through reconnaissance and refueling aircraft. 
A televised discussion took place on the first day under the title U.S. Policy and Change in the Middle East. The discussion ran on issues facing the region and how the new U.S. office with their allies plan on contributing to solving the challenges surrounding the Middle East. I don't think there will be stability in the Middle East until Iran and the Arab world figure out how to coexist. It doesn't mean they're going to be allies or great friends. Some of Iran's behavior is truly unacceptable. If Iran is arming opposition groups within countries, that has to be addressed. Issues addressed included discussions on how the conflict with Iran is best faced, especially in a time when its interference has dramatically influenced the sovereignty of Yemen on the southern border of the Arab Peninsula. To solve the problems of this region, one has to look at a broader range of solutions. The top of that would be the region integration. This is Sarah Lebrek for Bahrain International News Desk. Ahead of the 2016 Manama Dialogue, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today met the Chairman of the King Faisal Centre for Research and Islamic Studies, His Royal Highness Prince Turki bin Faisal Al Saud, Egypt's Foreign Minister, Sama Shukri, Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Ghit, Chairman of Kuwait's National Security Apparatus, Sheikh Tamar Al Ali Al Subah, and a number of senior participating officials and delegates. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the importance of convening forums such as the Manama Dialogue to provide platforms and opportunities to discuss important regional and international issues of interest, which contribute to securing a prosperous future for the region. His Royal Highness welcomed the senior officials and delegates participating in the 12th Manama Dialogue and praised their commitment to finding ways to enhance security and stability. The Crown Prince highlighted the importance of uniting international efforts to further bolster security, peace and development. His Royal Highness also highlighted the importance of combating terrorism and extremism. His Royal Highness and the participating senior officials and delegations went on to review the main challenges faced by the region and the importance of strengthening security and protecting society from extremist ideologies. In response, senior officials and delegations expressed their gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and praised Bahrain's commitment to supporting international efforts to help achieve security, stability and peace. A number of senior officials also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today met with the UAE Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and Singapore's Minister of Defence, Nig Eng Hen, on the sidelines of the Manama Dialogue. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted that multilateral cooperation is critically important to effectively address a broad range of security challenges. In this regard, His Royal Highness stressed that the GCC countries are united in the commitment to strengthen ties with their international partners and allies in order to advance regional security and stability. His Royal Highness welcomed the UAE and Singapore's participation in the 12th Manama Dialogue and highlighted that the event provides an important opportunity for leaders to gather and discuss various regional political and security issues. The Crown Prince went on to praise the strong bilateral ties between Bahrain, the UAE and Singapore. Issues of mutual interest and the topics on the Manama Dialogue schedule were also discussed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today met with the Republic of Yemen's Vice President, General Ali Moshin Al Ahmar, on the sidelines of the 2016 Manama Dialogue. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted Bahrain's firm commitment to supporting peace and stability in Yemen and emphasized Bahrain's active role within the Saudi led Arab coalition to support the legitimate government of Yemen. His Royal Highness said that Bahrain welcomes any positive steps taken by all sides to reach a long-term peaceful solution acceptable to all. In this regard, the Crown Prince highlighted Bahrain's support to the efforts of the UN envoy, Mr. Ismail Oud Sheikh Ahmed, and expressed his appreciation towards Yemen's constructive contribution to the 2016 Manama Dialogue Forum, which facilitates discussion on regional security and peace.
His Royal Highness sent his regards to Yemen's President, His Excellency Abdul Rab Mansur Hadi. The meeting also provided an opportunity to review various regional and international developments and issues of mutual interest, including the most recent developments in Yemen. In response, Yemen's Vice President expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and praised Bahrain's ongoing support to Yemen's legitimate government. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today met with Iraq's Vice President Ayad Alawi on the sidelines of the 12th Manama Dialogue. During the meeting, the Crown Prince welcomed the participation of Mr. Ayad Al-Alawi at the Manama Dialogue, saying that it reflects Iraq's commitment to addressing regional security issues. The Crown Prince highlighted existing ties between Bahrain and Iraq and noted that both countries will continue to explore cooperation and opportunities across various sectors. The Crown Prince and the Iraqi Vice President discussed a wide range of regional affairs and developments as well as key elements of this year's Manama Dialogue. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met the Turkish Chief of the National Intelligence Organization, Dr. Hakan Fidan. The meeting comes on the sidelines of the Manama Dialogue Forum. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince hailed the relations that have developed between Bahrain and Turkey, which reflects the desire to elevate the bilateral relations to advanced levels of cooperation and coordination. He highlighted Turkey's support of international efforts to combat terrorism and extremism, stressing Turkey's role in maintaining security and stability. He also discussed a number of topics relating to issues raised by the Manama Dialogue Forum. The meeting was in the presence of Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and the President of the National Security Agency, Sheikh Talal bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with the United Kingdom's Foreign Secretary, the Right Honourable Boris Johnson MP. This came on the sidelines of the 2016 Manama Dialogue. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the strategic partnership between the Gulf Cooperation Council and the UK. The Crown Prince and the Foreign Secretary then discussed the long-standing bilateral relationship between Bahrain and the United Kingdom, which spans over two centuries, and jointly stressed the need to further strengthen coordination and cooperation in order to collectively combat global security threats. His Royal Highness went on to note Bahrain and the UK's mutual position on a range of strategic issues and highlighted the country's shared commitment to further developing ties across all sectors. The Crown Prince and the Foreign Secretary went on to review a number of key issues of regional and international importance, including efforts to uphold regional security and stability, protect shared interests and efficiently combat terrorism. A number of senior officials also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today met the German, German beg your pardon, Federal Minister of Defence, Her Excellency Dr Ursula von der Leyen, on the sidelines of the 12th Manama Dialogue. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted Germany's continued support to the GCC across a range of regional security and development challenges. His Royal Highness also highlighted the strong relations between Bahrain and Germany across many sectors and stressed the importance of of continuing to enhance political, economic and security cooperation. His Royal Highness then praised Germany's participation at this year's event, which he said demonstrated the country's commitment to addressing key security issues impacting the region. His Royal Highness went on to welcome the participation of the German Federal Minister of Defence at a plenary session on combating extremism in the Middle East and beyond this morning. 
The Crown Prince and the German Federal Minister of Defence also discussed regional developments as well as key issues on this year's Manama Dialogue agenda. Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and Lieutenant General Yusuf bin Ahmed bin Hussein Al Jahlama, the Minister of Defence Affairs, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, met former CIA Director, retired General David Petraeus. The meeting came on the sidelines of the Manama Dialogue Forum. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince asserted the importance of the bilateral relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States and the advanced cooperation between the two countries. He hailed the participation of General Petraeus in the Manama Dialogue Forum and cited the importance of such forums that discuss regional and international security. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met with the Commander of US Central Command, General Joseph Votel, on the sidelines of the 2016 Manama Dialogue. During the meeting, His Royal Highness highlighted the strong strategic bilateral relations that exist between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States and emphasized the continued importance of the region's security and stability. His Royal Highness welcomed General Votel's participation in the Manama Dialogue Forum and noted Bahrain's commitment to further strengthening Bahrain-US relations, which are based on a deep history of outstanding cooperation across various sectors. The meeting also provided an opportunity to review various regional and international developments and issues of mutual interest. The themes and agenda items of the Manama Dialogue were also discussed during the meeting. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The 12th edition of the Manama Dialogue is underway and the focus of today's plenary sessions concentrated on achieving stability in the Middle East. Mohammed Al Shaban has the details in this report. Following an opening reception last night, the plenary sessions of the 12th edition of the Manama Dialogue kicked off its activities at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel on Saturday morning. The two-day forum brings together leading global figures in the fields of defense and government policy. First of all, this country behind is a fantastic host, so um, uh, it's a pity I'm not staying longer. But also in, at this conference you assemble a lot of knowledge uh, from all over the world and specifically from the region. For us Europeans it's very important to come here to understand uh, the view um, of the region on the problems and the common interest we share. So uh, it's a very enriching conference for me. The first day of the forum focused on the Middle East as a region, including the fight against extremism, widening security partnerships and working towards achieving stability in the area. You need to make sure that you are fighting terrorists. You're not, you need to make sure that you are rebuilding the fragmented and uh, destroyed societies and countries. And then you need to make sure to address the issues that's been with us for long. You need to address the Palestinian issue and we need to get a better relationship on a stronger basis with Iran. U.S. policies in the region, the ongoing fight against Daesh and the continuous Iranian interference topped the agenda, with leaders calling on a need to unite to fight off the threats. The stability in Iraq, as I said, is a function of first is uh, to have the people to buy into the political process and to embark on a process of reconciliation where all the people uh, get together uh, and be part and parcel of the political process. Things can be so solved between countries, but uh, with Iran it's a bit more difficult because they are uh, too much uh, uh, having their own uh, agendas. But uh, I don't think there is a country is beyond uh, control and beyond, uh, frankly speaking. The forum continues tomorrow with a focus on Yemen and Syria along with defense cooperation in the Arabian Gulf. The Manama Dialogue once again becomes a hot spot for the most pressing defense and strategic issues that don't only affect the region but the world as a whole. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain International News. 
First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for the success of the Bahrain International Ironman Championship Triathlon Race, which was held yesterday under the patronage of the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. This event coincides with Bahrain's celebrations of national festivals held on the 16th and 17th of December and the 17th anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa emphasised the supportive role of His Majesty the King's of Bahraini sport that has contributed greatly to the development of the youth and sports sector. This is clearly shown through the hosting and organising of various sporting events and tournaments. It has also led Bahrain to gain many achievements in various international tournaments. He added that the presence of His Majesty the King in this event, which hosted 1,200 international riders, has contributed to the success of the race. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa has praised the sincere efforts exerted by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa in organising this event in the Kingdom, which achieved all the aspirations and objectives sent by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to strengthen Bahrain's position on the global sporting map and support young athletes who take part in this type of sport. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa also reassured that the health and safety of his brother, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, is okay after he was forced to leave the race due to the injury he suffered from his bike malfunction and wished him continued good health and success in upcoming events. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed his delight in holding the event, hailing the participation of all the athletes that added to the success of this sport. He also thanked all the members of the organising committee for their outstanding efforts and underlined the capability of Bahraini youth in hosting and organising this type of event in the Kingdom. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, stated that the right way to solve the region's problems is through major and effective Arab states, such as the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and the Gulf Cooperation Council. The Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and Arab Republic of Egypt, as well as every state that has a viable modern nation and has a real and sincere desire to cooperate with the countries of the region in order to spread peace and establish security. He expressed his hope that Iraq will return as a strong nation in the Arab world because it is one of the major countries and one of the active actors in the region and that its strength, unity and stability are an essential element in the stability of the whole region. Sheikh Khalid praised in his speech at the Manama Dialogue the success of the 37th session of the GCC summit held in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which he said was an important stage in the progress of joint work and resulted in outcomes that will give a strong impetus to the GCC countries to move forward towards further mutual cooperation in the defence and security fields, as well as further economic integration between the GCC states. He stressed the importance of the role by the Economic and Development Affairs Bureau in the outstanding development of cooperation in economic affairs and the completion of development projects to reach a full Gulf economic unity and further support the economic and investment status of the GCC nations. The Minister praised the outcome of the summit between the GCC leaderships and the UK Prime Minister Theresa May, hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain, where the importance of bolstering the strong historic relations between the GCC and the UK was affirmed. He also expressed the joint keenness to create further opportunities of economic and security cooperation for the interests of both sides. Sheikh Khalid affirmed the importance of international partnerships and the alliances of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the GCC with the United States, the United Kingdom and friendly countries and regional and international organisations, stressing that these partnerships will continue to serve the interests of all parties as well as strengthen the international role of the GCC as an active partner to achieve security, peace and stability in the region and the world. He criticised the role of the Islamic Republic of Iran. That
that is, destabilizing the security and stability of the region, pointing out that Iran has been carrying out this dangerous role for more than 30 years, exploiting every conflict in the region in an effort to extend its influence, in addition to its support of terrorism in the region and the formation of subsidiaries in the armies of the Arab states to destabilize security and stability. This, said the minister, is in addition to the use of Wilayat al-Fahi, guardianship of the Islamic jurists, to get followers from around the world, stressing that good relations cannot be built with Iran unless it drastically changes its policies and cooperates with full transparency and seriousness with the countries of the region. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the Minister of Middle East and North Africa at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office in the United Kingdom, Tobias Elwood, signed today the arrangements between the governments of the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom in regards to the operation of the naval support facilities within the framework of bolstering the historic and strong relations between the two countries. Sheikh Khalid affirmed the signing on the arrangements reflects achieving all that will lead to facilitating and developing cooperation, adding that it was an important step towards efforts to create new opportunities for the relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom, as well as for the benefit and interest of both countries. He said that the leaderships of both countries are keen on bolstering cooperation in view of its positive impact on developing relations as well as bolstering security and peace in the region. Elwood praised the keenness of the United Kingdom in the progress of the outstanding bilateral relations at all levels, adding that he looks forward for further cooperation between the two countries. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met today with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Arab Republic of Egypt, Sama Shukri, on the sidelines of the 12th session of the Manama Dialogue, where they reviewed the progress of bilateral relations and the means of developing these ties at all levels, as well as regional and international developments. Sheikh Khalid expressed his appreciation for the strong brotherly ties with the Arab Republic of Egypt and its continued comprehensive and outstanding progress. For his part, the Egyptian foreign minister expressed pleasure in visiting Bahrain and participating in the Manama Dialogue, highlighting his country's appreciation for the stances of the kingdom in supporting its safety and its stability. Sheikh Khaled also met with the Assistant Secretary of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, that's NATO, for Political Affairs and Security Policy Ambassador Alejandro Alvarez Gonzalez. The Minister welcomed Ambassador Alejandro Alvarez Gonzalez on his first visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain, wishing him success in carrying out his duties and working on developing cooperation and coordination to face challenges in the region in view of regional and international developments and the many dangers threatening international security and peace. He added that at the forefront of this is the phenomenon of terrorism, extremism and violence, which require the continuation of political consultations and constructive cooperation amongst all ambassadors. Beg your pardon, Ambassador Alejandro Alvarez Gonzalez affirmed his appreciation for the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to cooperate with NATO, stating that he looked forward for further cooperation between the two sides to achieve joint interest, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. During a meeting with the Japanese State Minister for Foreign Affairs, Kentaro Sonouro, Sheikh Khalid reviewed the progress of friendly ties and the means of developing relations in all fields. The minister noted that there were components of the betterment of joint cooperation, stressing 